Hello friends, this is Jeff Morgan. Thank you for joining me again on the channel. Since YouTube is so full of positive self-help, you can do anything you set your mind to slogans, I thought I'd do this one a little bit differently today and talk about the things that people usually do that have them failing on a plant-based diet. You know, the things to consider and avoid. First of all, why do people fail at anything? There are so many reasons, but some of the main reasons are lack of information, lack of discipline, lack of support, and misunderstanding what they're trying to do. So if you're considering going on a plant-based diet, here are some things that if you do them, you may end up discounting this way of eating before you are able to reap the benefits. Number one, you begin your new way of eating without doing any research whatsoever about what kind of nutrients the body needs and where they come from. For example, what's the first thing that comes to mind when I say protein? See? We've been so conditioned to simply eat what's out there and what we've been given, and we don't question it until our health starts to deteriorate. Basically, we get most of our information from advertisements that are skewed in a specific way, and we don't do any deeper investigating. Just do some basic research, and you'll find out things like protein is made of amino acids that originate in plants. Number two, you undereat. Now, this may seem a bit weird, but many people trying to gain mass end up losing too much weight on a plant-based diet because they're undernourished. Not because the plant-based diet is deficient, but it's naturally lower in calories. And I'm talking about the volume of food. There are more calories packed into animal foods than there are into the same volume of plant foods. So an easy fail on a plant-based diet is keeping the volume of your food the same, which can lower total calorie consumption considerably. People end up feeling weak and unsatisfied. They end up removing foods but not adding replacement foods. So if you're eating a whole food plant-based diet, you may consider increasing the volume or the portion sizes of the food you eat. Number three, not getting the support you need. There are many people that go vegan and their families and friends are against it. They get a lot of negative feedback and they're not confident enough with their decision. They succumb to the pressure and they just feel too awkward being the, the different one, you know. I know it can be hard and I understand. I've had my share of negative feedback. But if you connect with like-minded people and stand firm in your beliefs, you may actually even end up influencing other people and having others ask you for advice. You think it's easy being a Jewish Christian vegan? I'll explain that in another video. But being a vegan is already a minority. And being a Christian of Jewish descent is even a greater minority. But God is good and I choose to find my identity in Him and not my diet. So it's all good. Number four, going vegan for the wrong reasons. Many people say that there aren't wrong reasons, just reasons. I think there are some wrong reasons, such as jumping on a trend that you know nothing about. This sets you up for failure due to big motivation with little information. Start at a steady pace and increase as your knowledge increases. Another one is trying to copy a social media influencer that you admire. You might say, what's wrong with that? Fake it till you make it, right? Wrong. Their diet and lifestyle may be wrong for you. You may see someone eating 10 bananas a day, and if you have a sugar sensitivity like I do, it can really mess with your health. Or you may see someone like me eating a lot of whole wheat or whole grain pita bread. What? And you may have a gluten sensitivity, and if you eat like I do, it could mess with your health. Your motivation should lead you in a direction to build a diet that is appropriate to your sensitivities. Another one is hoping to lose weight fast. Any change of lifestyle should be gradual and attainable. Many want quick results, and if they don't get them, they end up junking the diet without giving it its due time. Health and fitness are lifestyles, not quick fixes. Think more of changing a lifestyle than getting quick results. Number five, going on a vegan junk food diet. Mmm. There are so many in the world that are just focused on pleasure or satisfying their taste buds or just protecting the animals that they don't care about their health. They think, well, as long as it's vegan, then I must be doing something right. Well, that could be okay until you end up getting sick, exhausted, and overweight. You see, vegan doesn't equal healthy. And many vegans are sick, frail, and overweight, just like many omnivores, simply because they bought into the easy packaged choices at the store. Number six, not eating enough protein. Now, this is something that I think needs attention. Many vegans will tout that there is plenty of protein in the plant kingdom, and there is, but this comment can be misleading, especially to athletes. Some people like myself will start a plant-based diet and feel so good that they'll start training for bodybuilding competitions, CrossFit, powerlifting, and other intense sports. They're putting their bodies under tremendous stress and pressure and doing their best to grow stronger and bigger, but in many cases, they end up taking one step forward and one step back because they haven't increased their protein intake 
to account for the new demands being placed on their body. In many cases, a new healthier plant-based diet is lacking in protein, and therefore people get frustrated with slow gains, low energy, and count the plant-based diet useless when all they really needed to do was increase their total protein intake. See, I did two muscle building experiments. One, I was eating about 90 to 100 grams of protein per day. I was weight training really hard, six days a week, about an hour to an hour and a half a day. And within 10 months, I ended up gaining 10 pounds. Now that may seem great, but it was a really hard climb. And during that time, I felt like I should be gaining quicker. I also felt like my body wasn't healing really well. The next year, I increased my daily protein intake from 100 to 175 grams per day and ended up gaining 15 pounds in three months. The protein increased along with some other carbohydrates and fats, therefore more total calories and better progress. Number seven, eating only fruit and veg. Now there are people out there that seem to thrive on a raw diet with fruits and vegetables. I know a couple of them, uh, but they're not the majority. They're definitely the minority. People used to eating a diet high in animal products and calories, and then switch to a plant-based diet of only fruit and vegetables, can be lacking in protein, fats, and find themselves losing weight rapidly, losing too much weight, and running out of gas. Number eight. Yeah. Overthinking macronutrients. This is a big one. Some say 60-20-20, some say 80-10-10, some say 70-20-10 whatever. I'm talking about the carbohydrates, protein, and fat ratios. People stress out about hitting a specific macro ratio and end up micromanaging their food. This can cause stress and an uncomfortable environment around eating. It's important to understand how you respond to a high carbohydrate or high protein or high fat diet, but to get wrapped up in trying to find the right macro ratios for yourself can make eating really unenjoyable. So there are many reasons why people fail on a plant-based diet, and these were some of the ones I thought were important to address. So if you're in trouble or you're considering a plant-based diet, let's talk about it. Leave a comment or question and I'll do my best to respond. Also, if you'd like to add a reason why you think people fail on a plant-based diet, feel free to add that in the comment section as well. So if you're new to Guilt Free TV, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when new videos come out. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. As a firm follower of Jesus, my belief is always God before diet. That way my priorities are always straight and I'm not making my vegan diet or a vegan movement my idol. So whether you succeed or fail at a plant-based diet or fluctuate between both, with God as your anchor, you can't go wrong.